My name is Rebecca Wayne. I teach third grade at Paradise Honors Elementary School and it is my first year teaching. I wanted to be a teacher ever since I was a little kid. I was always the kid that would pretend to teach to their stuffed animals. I realized that I really just wanted to help kids. And as soon as I stepped foot in the classroom and seeing that one light bulb moment with a kiddo go off, that's when I knew that teaching would be my field. My third grade teacher, Mrs. Sniff, made school feel like such a safe place for me. She made me feel welcomed and she made me feel like there was always room for me at the table. And I think without her, I wouldn't have wanted to become a teacher. All right, I just got done with Meet the Teacher. It went amazing. My kiddos were so sweet. They were so, 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 so excited for third grade. My parents are awesome. The next time I see my room, we'll be on the first day of school. So wish me luck. Happy birthday of third grade! Woo! I really got to introduce myself to the kiddos. I was super honest with them and told them it was my first year teaching and they just welcomed me to the school. They helped show me around when I got lost and it was better than I ever could have imagined it being. The morning routine I have, I come in from the parking lot, welcome to my second home, switch on my lights, and I usually head straight to my computer and I check my email and make sure that I'm not missing anything major for the day. Then I get my slides all set up on my board so that when the kids come in, they know exactly what they're supposed to be doing. And then before you know it, the kids are already outside the door. So I kind of open up the door, I like to be the first face that they see in the morning, like smiling, because I never know what kind of morning they have before they come to school. And I just wish them a good morning and tell them I'm happy they're here. And then they come in and they start doing their journal work. And they usually write me about what happened the day before or a fun journal prompt that I might have up. Then we do our announcements and attendance and our day is ready to go. So today was our fun run. And let me tell you guys, when I got to school this morning, I was exhausted and honestly I was a little just tired and really not wanting to come to work today. You know it's kind of hard to reach every kiddo and I feel like just coming back from fall break it's been a hard challenge trying to make sure that I'm reaching every kiddo and I'm there for every kiddo. Sometimes you know the research-based evidence for engagement strategies just doesn't work. Sometimes it just doesn't work and some days you'll have an octopus hanging out on your head to get your students engagement up for the day. So this is how we've been teaching all afternoon because it's the only thing that keeps my students looking up front. It's been on my head for close to two hours now and I haven't dropped it. So it's working. So sometimes just gotta do what works for your class. And this is what works for mine. So I guess coming to work today, I felt a little overwhelmed and that I wasn't doing enough. And today was our fun run and it's an opportunity where we raise a bunch of money all week and we tie it with Red Ribbon Week and parents and family donate and we reached our goal of $70,000. So we had a huge fun run, kind of like a field day where kids ran laps and laps and laps and laps and I jumped in with them and I was running with them and cheering them on and I had a couple of kiddos come up to me and you know when they say you're the best teacher ever it I feel like sometimes it gets overlooked but today I like sat with that and I was like wow like you're right like sometimes you know I feel like I'm not doing enough but at the end of the day like I'm running laps with them and it kind of validated that teaching is so much more than just teaching them the basics. Like I was cheering them on and I felt like I did my job as a good teacher today, even though I wasn't teaching, I was just there for my kiddos and that's exactly what they needed. And it totally turned my day around. So what a fun way to kind of support my kiddos and have a great Friday.